Hello guys. So as you can see here in this video, I'll show you how to download real data of solar irradiance or temperature or wind speed data from NASA okay websites. So uh, after this video, you will be able to download real data set that maybe you need uh, in your uh, uh, solar model or wind model, okay, or any micro grid model or wherever uh, you want to apply. Uh, if you want to apply real data set, and you don't need for that, you don't need to collect. Uh, means by manually you can collect from the internet from the net NASA website directly so that is much easier okay for your experiment simulation research you can download it and you can apply it because all the data are already available but okay so we'll go to the website okay uh, you can just simply uh, I don't uh, search anything. Download NASA irradiance data. Maybe my okay. Here we came. The at the first website will go NASA Power. Okay. Let's go. Ah, internet speed is not that much good so suppose if you want to download for one particular location okay if, uh, because you are going to download real data set you're going to apply in your uh, work that real data set so you must have to specify one uh, per, uh, exact location okay you can do it by you can use your current location also you can uh, search by any name or you can just simply here you can select any any <coughs> uh, location okay we'll select let's select Mumbai okay I'll select Mumbai location so <coughs> let's go to after that we'll go to single point okay I want for Mumbai I'll go to single point then uh, I have to select uh, community here community sorry available here okay uh, we are going to download irradiation data suppose we are going to download here irradiance data so we'll go to renewable energy okay so <clears throat> you can choose other options if you need other types of data then will go if you uh, you can choose here uh, hourly daily monthly annually data suppose uh, irradiance data if i am going to download i'll try to apply daily data okay it's showing the exact location of 18 okay latitude and longitude and <coughs> here i want a time range for a fixed time range so uh, I'll select today's date, but I want to select it 2022. Okay, suppose 1 May 2022 to uh, 2024. You can change it as your requirements depending on your requirements. Okay, I'm just putting any like randomly parameter search limit okay here you can choose there are so many types of data are available okay here you can see the solar irradiance data temperature data humidity wind pressure okay all these are available uh, for irradi irradiance I will uh, go to all sky uh parameters all sky surface yes okay 
I will download all sky surface software download irradiance uh, downward irradiance okay send downward and I will out with uh, you can download from here also uh, anything you can download whatever you need exactly again okay. for irradiance clear surface downward clear sky surface sort with downward yeah ah, all sky will be much better I think okay all for irradiance I'll download that one and temperature at 2 meters okay or earth skin temperature Parent of solar cooking also here. Uh, all sky surface or download it. Temperature data I'll uh, two meter. Okay, temperature two meter. And wind if you want to download wind speed. I I'll leave this. I'll just download this two data. Okay. Then advanced option if you time standard if you want local time standard. Okay. Then I'll go to format. CSV, I think it will be much better. Uh, if we use it in MATLAB, CSV is okay. Good. So I'll select here CSV and submit. Okay. look here it's automatically download it I got it here this data this is the data daily data set look we got so many data okay we got daily data here you can see here year month day all sky this one is temperature data this one is uh, irradiance data okay this one is temperature this, uh, this one is you can see from here yeah temperature uh, temperature this one this one irradiance data okay we got so many data number of data it's uh, actually depend on the range we have given It got 743 data here so you can increase the range of data you can so you'll get as much as you want okay so that's it guys it's very simple uh, we'll see one more thing here let's go suppose I'm going to use this data set I'll close it I have another one downloaded already. We'll cut it and save in this folder. Okay. I'll go to MATLAB. If I want to use that data, suppose here you can see we have one PV array. Okay. And this one, let's read it first. PV array, it's asking for irradiance and temperature data. So the downloaded data we can apply with the help of from spreadsheet. Yeah. From spreadsheet data, okay. We can go here and the file name first massa data. It's not showing. No item match to your search. And title dot Excel S CSP data is there anything? CSP uh, same thing. <coughs> so we can use it from there, but it's showing some problem. But you can uh, use it from there, okay? That's our data is it here. It's not yeah it's already there so it's 
don't know why it's not showing right now. Uh, maybe the problem somewhere. Maybe I am doing something wrong for spreadsheet. You can check my other videos. It's already there. And if you have, uh, if you are uh, facing this problem, uh, you can comment in the comment box. I'll make another one video if you want or maybe you can check my other videos it's already there uh, from spreadsheet from spreadsheet okay 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 we have to uh, uh, we have to make variables okay we have to make variables in matlab here we have to make variables okay here we have to make variables suppose irradiance and we have to paste that data here okay after that we can use that one so this will change this file format will change automatically okay so i think it's clear for you guys i have the that uh, video how to use that uh, data with your model for simulink anything okay so in this video you got to learn this so maybe it will help you surely i think you can use all these data you can uh, uh, use this data again you can uh, uh, apply uh, all this data for your research or anything what are the simulations modeling okay so that's it guys bye bye